Hey everyone, my name is Philip and I'm a co-founder at Missive. In today's video, I'm going to walk through some of the changes we're introducing to Missive to make your life easier. Well, first, uh, these line has been refreshed. You look at the sidebar, the icons, everything has been refreshed, looks beautiful. The most important change in that new update are about tasks. You see the design here have changed. If you look here, well, tasks can be a sign, but now task can have a due date. So if I go here and I create a task in this conversation, you see, I can link the task to a team. I can have multiple, one or multiple assignees. I can define now a due date. Here in that case would be assigned to this email thread. It would create a task like this. Another cool thing is that those tasks have one more step. You could have one that is not started yet to do, you have the ability to mark one as in progress, and then you can close and complete one. The biggest thing in this release is the task view. So all of those tasks that you created in a conversation are now viewable from a single place. In that case, those are all the tasks assigned to me. Remember that task in the New York Times conversation? Well, now listed as in progress in my task view. And all of those other seems to be created in that same conversation. Let's have a look. So you see in that conversation, five different tasks were created and I can see the one assigned to me in the task list. What's cool about that task list is that you can order it the way you want. You can group it the way you want. Maybe I'm interested to see the grouping based on due dates. Oh, no tasks are due, only one is due for today. And then later on, I have a few more. That's cool. These due dates are not just to reorder and group that view differently. I can now have a eye level view of all the tasks I have access to in my missive calendar. So that's pretty cool. Tasks can now be assigned to teams. They have due dates. You have a central place to look at all of the tasks assigned to you. But what about that place here? The team spaces. Now, every single team has a dedicated space where you can find the inbox, the usual suspect, right? In that case, it would be the support inbox for our customer at conference batch. And it's going to be dealt with exactly like in previous version. For instance, I could go in this conversation. I can reply to this one. It would assign the conversation to me and then I would send and close. Those conversation now can also have two dates. So I could view that conversation in my calendar as well. But not only that is that that wall conversation can also be viewed in my task view. So let's say this is for next week. Okay. Close that and then view the task here that conversation that I just assigned to me, right? Also viewable in my task view. So the task view will list all of the subtasks you create in conversation, but also the main conversation if those conversations are assigned. By going back to the team spaces, you see here, each team also has a dedicated task view. I could go to these lines here, select task. I can see all of this task assigned to my colleague. Also for each team, if you've enabled the chat room, you will have access to the chat room from the team space. A lot of you like to customize their sidebar, but you simply need to take an item and drag and drop it at the bottom. So you create a new section. Let's say here, events, right? So I have a new ever group in my sidebar that I can move around wherever I want. And that one I could drag here as well. So now I have a subgroup called events. And then obviously you also have all of your chat rooms, one-on-one -on -one chat room uh, in your company. Uh, so that's for the sidebar. All right, to summarize, now you have a centralized task view. So instead of having a place called assigned to me with a list of conversation in which there were tasks assigned to you, you have a beautiful task view that you can rearrange like you want. You also have that task view for the organization itself and all of the teams. So that's it for this update. We have a lot of interesting change. 
to summarize, new task, ability to see task in task view, like those ones, a due dates on task, ability to assign task to different teams, a calendar view with the task, and a refresh sidebar. I really hope you enjoy that update. Simply click the blue banner at the bottom of your app next Wednesday to get that new version. All right, thanks.